Cesaria Evera, born on the island of São Vicente, Cape Verde, enchanted the world with her soulful voice. Known for her emotive Morna performances, Evera's music captured themes of longing and nostalgia. Performing barefoot became her signature, a tribute to her humble beginnings and the poverty of her homeland. Her candid presence, seen in smoking and drinking on stage, endeared her to many as a figure of authenticity. Evera earned the Grammy Award in 2004, encapsulating her influential role in world music. Madonna, among others, drew inspiration from the Queen of Morna, showcasing her far-reaching impact. Evera's childhood was marked by poverty. Music provided an escape and a passion from an early age. Following her father's death, a violinist, she was raised by her mother in a cook's modest wages. The financial strain led young Evera to an orphanage, a common plight in colonial Cape Verde. At 16, spurred by love and music, Evora's voice found its way to the bars of Mandelo. Her Morna and Coladera won the hearts of locals as Evera became Mandelo Cafe Royal's star. Radio Mandelo spread her voice beyond the bars, sowing the seeds of her future acclaim. Despite early local fame, the struggle to support her children led Evora to a reluctant silence. 1985 saw her return after a women's anthology project revived her passion and her career. José da Silva, captivated by her voice in Lisbon, guided Évora to her first recorded album in Paris. Miss Perfumado sold in the hundreds of thousands, making Évora the voice of Cape Verde worldwide. Tours across continents connected her with fans who found solace and identity in her music. The album Cesaria brought her global fame and a cherished Grammy nomination. Health issues emerged in 2005, but her spirit and voice continued to soar through her music. Her final years were a crescendo of accolades, culminating in a Grammy for Vaz d'Amour. Due to declining health, Evora bid farewell to her music career in 2011. Cesaria's journey ended in her beloved Mandela, leaving behind a legacy of resilience and melody. Her contributions were honored with awards that reflected her influence in African and world music. Appointed as ambassador and cultural icon, Evora's life beyond music was marked by recognition from nations. Morna carried the imprint of fado, blues, and a history of a people's longing in Evora's voice. Her lyrics, infused with sodade, spoke for those dispersed and those remaining on the islands. Evora's multilingual repertoire extended her reach, intertwining Cape Verdean culture with the world's. The Barefoot Diva's nickname reflected not just a marketing ploy, but emblematic respect for the downtrodden. Her enduring image, both maternal and resolute, became a symbol of Cape Verdean strength and artistry. Evera left an indelible mark on artists across the globe, inspiring works by contemporary musicians. That was a glimpse into Cesaria Evera's life. Comment to suggest new story. Share, like, and follow for more.